Daytona USA 2 is finally coming to home consoles, but not in a way that you might think. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And Daytona USA 2 was released by Sega in 1998 as a follow-up to Daytona USA, and it used the Sega Model 3 hardware, so think Virtual Fighter 3 and Sega Rally 2. And Daytona USA 2 has never had a launch on a home video game console. And at one time it was planned to be ported to the Dreamcast according to the magazines at the time. But the project was quietly cancelled and instead we got a special version of the original game called Daytona USA 2001. Well, it looks like you'll finally be able to officially play Daytona USA 2 at home. Let's look at the headline here from VGC. After 25 years, Sega is bringing Daytona USA 2 to consoles for the first time. Now, there's just a few caveats to this release. And this information is coming to us from the Japanese magazine Famitsu. And we've got a summary here from VGC. And here it says that Famitsu reports that the 1998 racer will appear in Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, as the renamed Sega Racing Classic 2 in order to avoid rights issues. So if they retitled Daytona USA 2 into Sega Racing Classic 2, I have to wonder what else they may change. Now the Japanese version did have a song that did have the word Daytona in it, so I wonder if they'll cut that out of the song or maybe just use the inferior USA released version. And I'm already picking up Like a Dragon Gaiden, so I'll definitely try this out in the arcade in the game. But it's a bit of a shame that they don't release this separately. It seems like they've already done the work here that maybe they could release it digitally for just a few bucks. But let me know your thoughts on this. What else do you think they may change in Daytona USA 2 in order to get around some rights issues? And if you've ever played this game originally in the arcade, what were your thoughts about it? I think I may have played it a long time ago when it was out, but I don't really remember much about it. Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It really does help the channel out quite a bit. I want to thank you for watching and be good.